Hey, you guys. How's things? How's it going? Okay, so I worked my tail off yesterday putting these together. <laughs> um, I got, I went a little heavy on the fabric, but it was like, I don't know. I just kept finding things that I thought would be cool in here. So, and it's been a long time since I worked with, um, you know, fabric and stuff. So, so I had fun and it was inspiring at the same time. So, yeah, so I put together some, uh, I guess, farmhouse, schoolhouse, country-ish kind of kits, I guess. I don't know. I don't like to call them kits. But you guys know that about me already. Um, I just uh, put together a bunch of stuff that was actually inspired by the little cornmeal bags. And it's funny because the cornmeal bag is like this big, but the kit is like gigantic. Um, so obviously, I don't think that all of this stuff is going to get used with that little cornmeal bag. But if I'm making bundles, then I'm trying to put it together so that you know, you guys will have lots of goodies to play with. I usually go all out. So, so that's what I did anyway. So I did a dozen of these. I only did 12 because, because, um, I wanted to, I, I wanted to give everybody the same things, right? Like, and I couldn't do more than 12 and keep everything pretty much the same in the kits. Okay. So I may do more kits. I don't know if, if the, if you guys like these and they go over well, then maybe I can put together more, you know, but they would be maybe with just different stuff, but the same kind of style, you know? Um, so I'm going to, if you guys have seen any of my like studio walk through videos or anything like that. You, you, you might remember that there's a, a, a filing cabinet drawer that's like right behind me that is full of just book pages. And it's all these book pages that, you know, I pull, I pull from when I'm collaging and that kind of stuff. Well, I want to clear out that drawer. So I want to put together some like $15 you know, 10 or $15, uh, page packs from that drawer. And so if you wouldn't mind, just let me know if you'd be interested in a page pack from those, from that drawer, it, it would be healthy. Like, you know, I mean, maybe like that fat, you know what I mean? Um, like a nine by nine by 12 bag full, you know, and it's all just cool stuff. It's all cool book pages, lots of foreign language and just all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. But let me know if you would, if you would be interested in, in one of those page packs. And then also, um, I went ahead and those, uh, the library pocket packs seem to be pretty popular. So, um, if anybody would like one of those, also let me know they're $10. You get 30, um, library pockets, three different sizes, and then 10, um, of the craft coin envelopes in a bundle. And, um, so let me know if you would like one of those. I can do, I can do more. I actually ordered some more of the coin envelopes just so I could make sure and, and, and offer those. Um, anyway, so I will tell you the price on this bundle at the end of this little, little show you, you know, um, and, and yeah, cause there's a lot of stuff in here. Let me just tell you that. First of all, I did not put, uh, like papers for pages in here. Like I didn't do any, any coffee dyed papers or, um, you know, just regular plain papers. So everything is, you know, kind of, anyway, you know what I mean? I didn't do, I just didn't, I just didn't want to overload these too much. <laughs> um, and that would have just, I don't know, that would have just been a lot more. So, okay, let's go through, 
let's go through the um this one first okay so i sort of did this in three little like stages and um sorry if i seem a little out of it you guys i'm just kind of trying to figure out what to do <laughs> anyway um so i had walked through i had shown you guys this box of like ephemera that i was going through uh the other day and um i mentioned that i would pull stuff from that bin to put in these bundles and um so there is there's some more stuff in here but um you know i had to pull things that i had 12 of you know what i mean so so there isn't a lot of stuff from that that box in here but there is some anyway so each each bundle has one of these little postcards from the bank from lind bank in washington and then um i did find 12 envelopes not all of them had anything in them a lot of them were empty but they're still cool nonetheless um and then i happen to have a stack of old uh sewing patterns so i put there's like seven of these bundles that have a complete pattern. Some of them are just the envelope and believe it or not, some of them are just the front of the envelope. Um, but they're really cool. Like, like they're really old ones. You know, if it was just the front, they were just ones that I had been saving for, for quite a while. Um, but they're, they're really cool. So if it's not the full envelope and it's just the front, believe me, it's, it's still fine. It's worth it. And the only thing it's really missing is the back that, you know, which I know they're nice to use for pockets and stuff and you don't get the pattern, but you know what? Oh, well, it's just, it's just neat. They're just neat. So anyways, and then, so there's a pattern or at least part of a pattern <laughs> in each one. And then I just pulled a, uh, pamphlet from my stash that I thought was neat that had a lot of you know character and most of them have some images and they're just you know sort of all the same era and um some some of the pamphlets are thicker than others some are you know like this one is is one of the smallest ones that was that was you know in that in that collection that still fit the, you know, the criteria that I was looking for. <laughs> Those pictures are just so, so bad sometimes. Anyway, and then I pulled apart one of the Betty Crocker books that the spiral bound ones, I pulled that apart and I just gave you like a stack of pages from that. And then I had a bunch of those, um, engagement calendars from this one was from 1956 but they've got all these like floral arrangements in black and white so there's you know four or five pages from that and then i have this really cool old children's um, music book and so i pulled i pulled you got like a double page from from that book there weren't that many pages in it um and there were a few that i wanted to use also but so i just gave you one of those and then this really nice old math book that has lots of illustrations in it. And um, you guys know I love math books. So, and I, this one was really nice too, just because it was so colorful and stuff. And then I have this book. It's really cool. It's got 150 games to play. And it's that really neat old, super cottony, like kind of rough newsprint type of paper. And, and so they're just all these games that, um, I actually took a bunch of pictures of these, of these pages and sent them to my son, my oldest son, because he's been making games for him and his boys to play outside, um, during lockdown, like he built a beanbag game and stuff. So it's that kind of stuff. Anyway, so I sent him a bunch of those, but I pulled two pages uh, from that book for this kit for you guys. Oh my gosh. And then this is actually a, um, one of those, uh, encyclopedias. I can't remember the name of it, but this is the one that was like for mothers or something. And so it has like all the activities in it. And so I just pulled a signature from that encyclopedia 
for each one of these bundles. Okay. Um, okay. Let's do that next. Um, and then I have, I got this new ledger. It's this really nice old ledger that was from like a granary and they well like a mill, you know, where they milled flour and, and grain and stuff for different, uh, farmers in Oregon. So this was actually in, I think it was like a mill that was in Corvallis, which I thought was kind of cool. So yeah, I got this ledger on, on eBay, but I love that it has all of the like red lines and little writing and, you know, it's just, it's just very cool. See, there's like wheat bushels and pounds and stuff like that. So anyway, so I gave you a double page out of that ledger. And then this was a really old ledger for, it looks like 1898 from a general store. And it was one of those just kind of tall, um, single signature like ledger books. And it's like newsprint. So it's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of crumbly. So the paper probably should get glued onto something else, but, but I thought it was pretty neat. And then there was quite a few little loose, um, pages, little like notes in the ledger. So I went ahead and just added one to each one of these little packs and then a couple of, uh, canceled checks and just some random bank ephemera from my collection just like four or five pieces. And then I printed some stuff that I thought you guys would appreciate um, because I don't have it listed. Um, so there's like, like a thread, um, thread labels, basically uh, just a couple of those. And then some of those price tags that I love that I, I don't have in my shop digitally. So I gave you a some that I printed off for you and I just, you know, kind of roughly cut them out. And then these are some, um, recipes that I've scanned. Okay. So some recipe cards, I didn't have enough actual recipe cards to put recipe cards in each bundle. I just didn't have enough. So, and not, and still, you know, I wanted to use some, I only have about 20 of them and I know that sounds like a lot maybe, but <clears throat> I didn't want to, they're kind of precious to me, so, but I did scan some. Um, anyway, and then these are some more bank letters on the onion skin. And then I gave every one of the kits got some handwritten letters. This one, I, I gave you these two because this one was torn. So you got extra in this kit. But <clears throat> these are just letters from the bank also. And so this one, look, I love these numbers and stuff little stamps. So a couple of those. Oh boy. <laughs> it's hard to go through this stuff sometimes and talk about it. Like I get so excited. I'm not, I'm just like, you know, how do you explain it? And anyway, and then I thought it would be nice since I have a ton of file folders. If I gave you a, a file folder that you could use to make a couple of journals in case you don't have any, and then this little stack is just some random little cards. This is, these are from a set of little uh, game cards that I have. And this was like the animal rummy game. And then I can't remember what that one was. Um, and then this, this is just like a little flash card. And this game, this was another like, I can't remember the name of the game, but anyway, it's like a, it's like a word rummy type of game. And then a couple of flashcards from my collection of super old flashcards, um, like phonics cards. And then I was showing you guys these, these, um, phonics like sets that I had in a box and, I just took those apart and I gave, I gave each, each kit like four or five of the, of these cards out of those. And then this is some score sheets from this game called people are funny. 
and they're all blank. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of a weird game. And then these are some little order forms for, um, for that uh, lumber yard. There's maybe like eight or ten. There's some pink copies in there too. So, yeah, see. And then I have this book of order forms for Montgomery Wards. And so I just added one in each bundle. And I'm pretty sure you guys could scan this. I don't think you would go to jail if you scan that and, and you know, printed off some more copies of it. Um, and then a few bingo cards. And then this, I love this, this game. This was like, you know, these are all school type of games. And, and I always think about this when I think like farmhouse, because I always think about like homeschooling and that kind of thing. And, um, you know, anyway, and like schoolhouses too, you know, anyway, so I actually, there was six images on each card, but I didn't have enough to give each kit a full card. So I just cut them in half. So anyway, and then this is another like flashcard type of thing. And I thought it would be neat. You could cut this if you wanted to and just kind of, you know, stitch some fabric on it or something. And then a couple other larger flashcards. And then this is kind of a neat thing. There's all these words that you could cut out and use these to staple them onto pages or use them in clusters or something like that. And then the corn, the cornmeal bag, <laughs> there is the cornmeal bag. And I have figured out a way to cut this so that, so you could totally use it like this, you know, just like that. Um, or if, if you cut this carefully, you can actually get this to be straight on the, on the end. I'll, I'll show you, I'm going to do it on a video. So I'll show you what I'm talking about, but, um, it makes it so that the cover is a little bit wider and a little bit more usable. So anyway, so that's the kind of the big paper pack. So see what I mean? Like I didn't put a bunch of like onion skin paper and stuff like that in these because I figure, you know, most people have that kind of paper already, you know? And I mean, if you need that kind of paper, feel free to reach out to me and I will make a pack for you. You know, like I'm happy to do that. I mean, I can't do a, a gazillion of them, but you know, I could, if, if you really need paper, like if you're new to junk journaling um, and you just don't have a collection of different types of paper, like, you know, like um, um, not necessarily ledger paper, but I mean like stationary and notebook paper and that kind of stuff. If you need that kind of thing, let me know and, and I might be able to, to, to help you. Okay. Um, okay. So then you can't do farmhouse without buttons, right? So I added just, I just have this giant box of buttons. So I added some buttons and then also some bulb pins. Okay. There's just like maybe eight or 10 bulb pins in there. And then I have all these fabric uh, measuring tapes and some I actually got from Renee at GT Designs. And some of you guys have asked me, who's Renee? And so I'm sorry that I keep forgetting to link her YouTube and Etsy shop. And I will do that on this video. But um, anyway, so I had to add that because, you know, sewing and then just a little, little, little bits, you know, of um, there's some ruffle and then a couple of different um, eyelet trims. Okay. And then this one, so this is what I'm talking about, like this kind of paper, you know, I just didn't do a ton of that stuff in here. So there's some pages from a couple of different little notebooks and then some library cards, did three library cards and you could totally coffee dye those. And then I just pulled pages from a bunch of those different, um, saber stamp books. So you get a couple pages of green stamps and then the, um, those gold bond stamps and then the Holden, um, the red ones. Okay. And they're usually on the backs too. And then some that are kind of like blank pages. 
you know, they're just fun to play around with. And then one of these multo cards, because it has numbers and don't ask me why some of this stuff wound up in this particular bundle, but in this particular bag, probably because it was all in the same area when I was pulling stuff. Um, okay. This is my favorite little pack in this kit. Just a little tiny stuff. So I did a few of those little price tags that I got from Zoe's old shop. And then <laughs> these are just game pieces to like a math learning game. I don't know what it was called. And then I put three uh, milk caps in each bundle, three different milk caps. The one, these are the ones that I had like a dozen of. And then um, these, these also, and then, then there was one that was like a one of a kind. And then and this was hard for me to add, but I did include one of these little tags with the numbers. It's like one of those metal rim tags. Okay. So you get one of those. And then I added a bunch of the little preserves labels. These are Denison labels for, you know, canning, canning food, obviously food. <laughs> um, and then some anagram letters. These are the pink ones, just random letters from a couple different sets of anagrams. They're, they're just the paper anagrams that I have. And then these are little markers. Oh, these are from this game, I think. Yeah, I think that's what they, those are from. These, these different ones. I think they, yeah, I think they go to that game. Anyway, and then one of these little price tags. And this is a little, like, um, railroad ticket type of thing. I don't know exactly what it was. There's one of those little price tags. There's another preserve label for peaches. Another one of the little price tags. And these are the originals from, from Zoe's old shop. And then I did a little <laughs> kind of just like a handful of, um, of, um, 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 what are these called again? <laughs> tabs, different tabs, because I was selling tabs in my shop, like different sizes and stuff. And then I just decided, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. And, you know, I decided I didn't want to do that. Um, so I just dumped them all in a box. And so now they're all mixed up. So you got like a little selection of them. And then some of these little tickets, these are from like an amusement park. And then a couple of petty cash vouchers. So, okay. Now let's see if I can get this stuff back in here. I, I was going to put some postage stamps in here, but it just got, it just got too crazy. So it's hard to put stuff back in these bags once you peel the peel the sticker thing off because then everything sticks to it. Okay, I did it. You know what? I'm just going to put that in there. All right. I do love these clear bags though. I'm kind of addicted to them. I use them for everything. And that. And then these. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll look at the fabric pack, okay? <clears throat> There's a lot in here. Um, I had done some quilt, like quilt fabric bundles a while ago, like a, kind of a long time ago. And 
um, I had a bunch left over. And so I just kind of sorted those out and I pulled from those to add stuff to these packs. So I gave you five different um, uh, yo-yos. Okay. And then a little piece of, um, oh my God, I always forget what they call that fabric. What is that fabric called? Somebody tell me. Um, <laughs> anyway, I knew what it was called before I started making this video. Anyway, and then these are some pieces from a quilt that I took apart. And they were like the center of each square from the quilt. And th so they're all white and purple. Um, and then some other little quilt pieces. So I did three of these. These are some of my favorite quilts too. I forget what the name of the pattern is. I know somebody will tell me. So anyway, but it was pretty much like, well, it was a lot of blue. There was a lot of blue in that quilt. And then I gave each kit one of these butterflies that I have that were cut out already. And then a little piece of this really pretty floral uh, eyelet fabric. It's got some like machine embroidery on it too. And then these pieces are actually from France. These are from uh, Forever French from, from Louise. Um, she, <laughs> she sent me some, some fabric stuff that came last week. And um, <clears throat> so yeah, aren't those cool? Look at the cherries. And it was funny because when, um, when she sent it, it had gotten washed at some point and the color ran really bad on it. And so she said I, that she just threw it in because, you know, the fat, the color had run and, you know, but I just washed it and it actually came out pretty good. Like, you know, I don't think it looks bad at all. Anyway, so a couple little pieces of those trims, one with, it's like a coffee grinder and some cherries. Um, this is a piece of feed sack fabric that I got from Patty. This was an old sheet that was the backing of a quilt that I took apart. And another piece of feed sack from Patty. And another piece of feed sack from Patty. And if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Patty Lang. She does live sales on YouTube on like Mondays and Thursdays, I think. And I will link her channel also. Um, but this, this was actually some curtains. It was two curtains that I had and I, I cut those up. Aren't those cute? Little strawberries and flowers and stuff. Um, and then this was, I don't know what this was, it, but I thought it was neat. Kind of, kind of farmhousey sort of looking fabric. And then um, this is not, this is just like a cotton fabric. I don't know what it's, it's kind of thin. Like it's almost like you can see through it sort of, I think it was like a pair of, um, like pajamas or something. I don't know. And then I added some ticking. So this is the heavier, like duck cloth sort of ticking, um, in like a deep, you know, denim blue, I guess. And then I did a piece of the red, which is like the lighter weight ticking cloth. And then a different blue. So this one is the lighter weight, but it's pretty much the same color. It's a little bit lighter, um, but it's like the lighter weight. And this one is like thicker. So yeah, a little bit of ticking. You can't do, you can't do farmhouse without ticking, right? Um, and then gingham. So I still had a piece of the, this was a bathrobe and it's this chenille gingham bathrobe <laughs> from the forties. And I just like, I saw this thing and I just had to have it. So you got a piece of that. And then there's a piece from, this was a unfinished quilt that I bought at an antique store. So you get one of those squares and then some more quilt top. Well, it's just squares, quilt squares. Okay, so this is from a quilt that I took apart. And then I also have, there was some, um, this is really, really nice cotton from a bed sheet. 
but it's really heavy, thick cotton. Um, it's almost like linen, but it, it, it's not linen, but it's, it's very similar, um, but it's super soft. Um, this is also from Louise. So, and I wanted to give you a piece of this because I thought if you want to make like a scrappy trim tie for a journal or something, this is perfect for that. And this would give you like three nice long strips to work on, you know, if you tear it. So I'm going to definitely be making some of that for my journals and I'll probably video that. So if I do, you could play along. Um, and this was actually, this was actually a drop cloth, um, for, you know, painting. And so there is some paint on it, but it's nice utility fabric. It's nice and heavy. And it actually has this kind of cool little yellow stripe on it that I kind of like. So, um, and it tears real easy if you, you know, cut it and then tear it. And then I added a piece of red duck cloth because, I, because I love duck cloth and I was trying to decide what I have a bunch of different colors and I was like, okay, I'm just going to do the same color in each one. And I thought red was probably, probably the best choice. So anyway, so that is the fabric bundle. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. That was, that was relatively painless. Um, so what I'm asking. This won't go heavy, so it has to go priority mail. And and to be honest, um, I don't think I can fit this in a padded envelope. I might be able to fit this in a padded envelope. Um, maybe. I should have checked first. So if it'll fit in a padded envelope shipping will be 750 if i can't get it in the padded envelope i don't want to you know like i don't want to bend everything all weird you know i don't know i think i've gotten these file folders in padded envelopes before so it'll probably be okay but i'll try and um anyway if it won't go in the padded envelope then shipping is going to have to be $13 because that would be a medium priority box. Um, but I kind of think it'll fit in the padded envelope. So, so let's just, let's just go with that. <laughs> um, anyway, so $45 for the kit and then we'll say seven fifty for shipping. And then if you would like the pocket pack, the library pocket pack, those are 10. I could just, you know, I wouldn't charge you shipping on that if you want one along with this. Um, that could easily just slip in. And then also let me know if you would like to get on my list for page packs when I go through that drawer. Because <clears throat> there's just, there's so much stuff in there. And I just, you know, I need to refresh it basically. It's like I want to kind of go through it and get rid of a bunch of it and then fill it again. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean? Like kind of like refresh it. So, cause I guess I'm tired of a lot of them, but a lot of them are really cool books. I just, you know, don't use them anymore. Cause I've used them a lot already, you know, anyway. So, okay. That was a lot of talking. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. Thanks guys. Oh, if you want one of these, <laughs> You have to send me an email. Um, yeah, so there's only 12 available. So first come, first serve, um, just like with the book sales, you know. Um, and I will respond to your email so you know if, if uh, you were one of the 12, okay? But be clear in your email if you want the pocket pack or whatever. And if you've never purchased from me before, um, that's okay. Like, you know, I just send invoices through PayPal and you don't need to have a PayPal account in order to, to use, you know, for me to invoice you through PayPal. Cause I have a business account so I can invoice anybody and they can, you know, pay it with a debit or credit card anywhere in the world. If you are outside the United States and you want one of these bundles, please tell me that ahead of time because 
that just causes a real headache when I go to send, I send you an invoice, you pay the invoice, and then I go to ship your stuff and it costs three times as much for shipping. So please tell me if you're, you know, outside the country, outside the U.S. Um, and then what was the other thing? Um, yeah, I'll put my email right there in the description so you'll see it. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Any questions? Ask me in the comments. I'll try to keep up on the comments. If I, if I don't respond to your comment, then um, just send me an email if you have a question. Okay. All right, guys. Whew. I love you. Okay. Bye for now.